As COVID-19 cases continue to increase and Arizona moves towards reopening, modeling by professors up at Northern Arizona University is taking a look at what the spread of COVID-19 could look like up in the high country with and without restrictions being lifted. Team 12's Colleen Sakura spoke with a professor who's spearheading the program. And Colleen, there's a lot of variables in play here. While we've heard we've reached the peak of COVID-19 in Arizona, the professor says his models show easing restrictions too soon could mean an even worse second peak for northern parts of our state. Nearly a quarter of Arizona's coronavirus cases are spread across northern Arizona. It slowed down. That doesn't mean it stopped spreading, and it doesn't mean that it's declining in our communities yet. NAU assistant professor Joe Mahaljevic is studying the spread of the virus across Mojave, Coconino, Navajo, and Apache counties. We try our best to create these models as fast as we can with the information that we have about a pathogen that no one has dealt with before. Mahaljevic says no model is perfect, but he and his colleagues modeling shows while the spread is slowing in northern Arizona, there are variables that can change. If we remove restrictions too soon, then the, as the pathogen is still spreading um, and it's not declining in our populations yet, then we can rapidly get exponential growth again of the pathogen. He and his colleagues have been focusing on helping the counties and hospitals prepare, including being involved with state modeling. Mahaljevic says, though, his team has been cut off from the data by the Arizona Department of Health Services as AZDHS has paused their modeling. I really think that if there's ever a time to have scientists working on a problem to understand what the future might look like for this pathogen. It's now when we're trying to open up our economy. Now Mahaljevic and his team are looking to work with the counties to get access to data once again to continue looking at what COVID-19 could look like. Say, look, what could happen? And, you know, under the worst case scenarios, under the best case scenarios. And I would hope that our elected officials would plan for the worst case. AZDHS tells 12 News in a statement they've shifted their focus from predictive models to respond to the pandemic to using, quote, real-time Arizona-specific data to assess the healthcare system and the trend of COVID-19 cases in the state. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.